Before we go inside and do the taste test, I thought I'd show you the plant out in the garden. I'm unimpressed with the amount of variegation so far, but I've heard from people that it might get better later on, so we'll see how that goes. Right now we're in the middle of June, and our best month for peppers is usually August and sometimes September. As you can see, we already have a few ripe ones and some green ones too. These are the two we're going to use for our taste test, so let's go inside and see what they taste like. Most peppers taste better when they're fully ripe, so I'm going to try to taste this unripe one first. It's got a little bit of striping, uh, not very much, kind of like the plant. And there's the fully ripe one. I'm just going to get right to it, cut into this one. I'll just cut across it like this. And it's got a fairly thick wall, that's good. Taste a little piece of it here. That's not too bad. It's what I would describe as a mild bell pepper flavor. Not bad at all. Actually better than I expected. Now let's try this ripe one. Once again, it's got a pretty thick wall. I like that. Got a few pepper, a few seeds way down towards the end here. Take a little bite of this. That has more sweetness, better flavor. Real crunchy. That doesn't taste too bad. Now yeah, that's not bad at all. That's a that'd be a good snacking pepper for dip or hummus or just eating in a salad. Not bad. I don't know if it justifies the price of the seeds that I paid, but um, overall I would say it's not too bad. If you've ever tried this pepper before, let us know what you think about it. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.